Black Ops 3 has been the most extensively covered zombies game of all time. Every element of the plot, the theories, strategies, tips, tricks, previews, news, commentaries, glitches and live streams, but of them all, the most popular was the covering of easter eggs within the game. While I'm sure you guys have all seen the steps to the main easter egg in various maps, watched convoluted upgrade steps for wonder weapons, and, well, whatever this is, I've gone ahead and composed a list of 10 easter eggs that you probably have missed within Black Ops 3 Zombies. If you do enjoy this video, I'd appreciate it if you dropped a thumbs up on it, and hey, consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already for more great content to come. I've listed these in no particular order, but let's kick things off at number 10. When looking off in the distance in the Verrucht area of Revelations, you might see this fountain with the peculiar looking object on top. Upon closer inspection, that object is an M. G42, teetering atop the fountain for seemingly no reason. Well, this actually pays homage to an easter egg from the very first version of Verrucht in World at War. In that version, the developers placed a static MG42 underneath the middle fountain that you can actually get on and shoot. While the explanation for why this was there was never revealed by Treyarch, it's nice to see them acknowledge it through this little easter egg in Revelations. As a side note, the MG on Revelations cannot be entered or fired. Its model is taken from these MGs atop the Dragon Commanded Gorad Krovi and not the MG42 turret that's in the bunker complex on that map. Staying in Gorad Krovi for our number 9 spot, have you ever noticed this gravestone in the spawn area of the map? Well, if you look closely, it's got something written on it. It reads, Captain Doran Lynn Hayes, rest in peace. This is one of those moments where this neat little easter egg turns into something more real, in a way. Captain Doran Lynn Hayes was most likely the father of Adam Hayes, a game designer at Treyarch. The Elder Hayes died in 2009 after a long career as a fireman. This is a tribute to his memory immortalized in a video game. It's a reference to be scarcely seen and understood. I personally like seeing these references in games. There's something appealing about memorializing something or someone while not calling explicit attention to it. So indeed, Captain Hayes, rest in peace. I'll include his obituary down in the description if you want to learn more about the man. Heading into number 8, we're off to Revelations again with a fun little easter egg that's located at the back of the truck in Spawn. If you look at the back of the truck through the crack in the stone wall and squint to see the license plate, you can make out a reference to the Zombies YouTuber Glitching Queen. I'm using her footage to show this off because it wouldn't appear in my game, and I've seen others saying the same thing too. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Almost like it's a glitch. Next time you're in Revelations, take a look around and see if it'll appear for you. For number 7, we're in Shadows of Evil taking a look at this dead person sitting inside a windowed area of the map. But if you take a closer look, and you can see this better by using the glide cam in theater mode, there's a blatant M written on the envelope he's holding. This is a reference to Dr. Monty, known for being a huge part of the Black Ops 3 storyline, and may very well be in part responsible like the Shadow Man for the outbreak that overran Morgue City, leaving this guy, well, very dead. or undead, maybe. Moving on to number 6, and also in Shadows of Evil, you can see a hidden poster when using the noclip theater glitch. Displaying on the front side that is visible if you're playing the map, you see this poster. But on the other side that we can see by glitching through the wall, there is a different poster that goes totally unused in the next-gen versions of Black Ops 3. Curiously enough, in the last-gen version of Black Ops 3, so on PS3 and Xbox 360, these posters are reversed, displaying the unused poster in front with the other in the back. At number 5, we're high above the giant, taking a look at something that you can't see just from playing the map normally. Above one of the main buildings, you can see a message from the former workers of Darius. It reads, Help. It's made out of various small objects from the map, and is another easter egg that carries over from World at War. For number 4, also in the giant, by glitching into the zombie spawn that's underground in the spawn area, we can see that the door you can see from within the map is actually the office of none other than Dr. Ludwig Maxis, a highly important character in the zombie storyline. I've played through this map through the ages hundreds of times, and I never knew this was here until recently. 
It's definitely a cool hidden little reference. On to Der Reisendrach for our number three spot. You can see the actual location where the recently added Newton's cookbook feature takes place. All the details on the cookbook screen are present in this map when comparing it to the actual feature. You can better see this resemblance when you look at the blank texture for Newton's cookbook from the game files. I think it's pretty cool that they somehow tied this feature in directly with one of the maps. While Dr. Monty's factory seems only to be a mechanic, Moon's cookbook managed to include a little bit of story. Heading back to Goride Krovi for number 2, at the very front of the Dragon Strike controller, there is what we believe to be a QR code prominently displayed in front of it. The QR code hasn't been able to be successfully scanned yet, so we don't know what the message is or if there's even a message at all. Another interesting fact about the Dragon Strike controller is that it's actually a slightly modified model of the tactical insertion from Black Ops 2 multiplayer ported into Black Ops 3 Zombies. Ending off the list here in the Giant. Once you trigger the first step to the Flytrap Easter Egg, a bunch of shootable objects fly out to various points on the map. One of these objects is a teddy bear located high outside the map near the location for power. But when we take a closer look at the bear, it's holding a weapon we don't get to see in Vanilla Black Apps 3, the M1911 Colt. It's all perfectly modeled and textured, almost like they could have put it in the game if they really wanted to. I personally would have loved to see it, if not as the original starting pistol, then maybe as some kind of easter egg that you can get to acquire it. It might have been a cooler reward than a full ammo RK5 for completing all the main easter eggs on Black Ops 3, but unfortunately that's not the case. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this list. If you're an experienced zombie player, hopefully you maybe found one or two of these that you didn't know before. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate it if you drop a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you with another Zombies video tomorrow.